Vegan Butterbeer, new ET passports, Jurassic Water and more. And Shelby joins some Universal Orlando Vegans to give us a top five vegan Mardi Gras items for 2023. This is episode 549 of the unofficial Universal Orlando podcast. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back. We are glad to have you back as always. Uh, with me, I have Lee. You're assuming that people are coming back. They might be new listeners, so it might be just welcome. Welcome a back, new listener. <laughs> just welcome. Yeah, welcome. Hello, everyone. That's all you're supposed to say is hi. Not I know. Correct. I can't. Sorry. Uh, we also have Tracy. Hello, everyone. And we have a special guest today, Shelby. Hi, everyone. Um, hi, Shelby. I guess. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me so much. This is so exciting. Um, long time listener. I'm going to do some old school radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Shout out> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Flashback there. <laughs> so I'm Shelby from Universal Orlando Vegans. Just want to give a little background. I started the group in 2016 with my friend Steven and my husband. They're both extremely supportive. We didn't have any vegan options back then. We had popcorn, pretzels, and the leprechaun's rainbow from Finnegan's. Wow. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. Maybe a couple more random things, but that was the gist of it. And then about a year and a half later, we got our first legal vegan options, which were the vegan chicken sandwich and impossible burgers. And from there, it's just snowballed. We've just been pressuring Universal a little bit just by our presence and just letting them know we're here and we want vegan options. So good. Yeah, that's cool. where we're at. Yeah, I, th- I think you left out uh, twisted taters just because you oh, beat me to it, Chris. I was, was going to bring Mardi that Gras. up. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to find out food for for vegans and vegetarians, and they're like, yeah. "Oh yeah, we got we have twisted taters." I'm like, "Oh, fantastic variety." <laughs> it was. You're so right. That actually was our first Mardi Gras option. It was like yeah. the only thing we yeah. could get. It was like sea sea salt and vinegar, and <laughs> yeah, I don't know what other flavor it was then. It's different now, but... It was the year we came over because, Chris, we were getting you to ask because our youngest is vegetarian. So we were trying to find out vegetarian options for Mardi Gras for when we came over and Chris came on the show and was like, so your option is a twisted tater. <laughs> yep. yep. And yep. wasn't that the year also that I think they listed another item as being vegan? Yes. But then the broth was beef yes. broth. Oh, yeah. And yeah, you're right. And I had to ask like the chef. Yeah, that was, oh my that gosh. was an interesting one. And that's yeah. why we push for labeling because yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. it gets rid of that issue right there. Yeah, it's, it's huge now looking around the parks. Like you say, unfortunately, so our youngest be. is very fussy. So even like it was uh, yeah, fries. fussy and vegetarian struck it's, vegan is not a good mix. No, it really isn't. But anyway, that is yeah. tough. I'm intrigued to find out some uh, some mm-hmm. stuff because Tracy, funny enough, Tracy and I were talking about it when because we're not vegetarian or vegan. Tracy's kind of right. You, t- borderline but we've said it would be interesting to come out and and kind of walk a mile in in a, in the shoes and and have a day well, of I just have eating been vegetarian. vegan options um i was vegetarian for a long time and then i was told i had to start incorporating some I meat am. products into my diet um but even now it's still the first thing i look at is is the vegetarian vegan options it is, yeah. it's my preference yeah so and it's I'm expanded to... massively in the yeah. parks now as well. Oh, yeah, big time. Looking forward to hearing about this vegan phone. <laughs> but uh, before we get there, uh, Seth is out on the West Coast. Uh, a little jealous. <laughs> uh, checking out Super Nintendo World. Very uh, jealous. So, so we've come up with our own little things. Yeah, Sorry, if you're Kayla, not as cool. Yeah. But we have our own. If you follow him on social media, you'll find, like, Chris, <laughs> just to pull the <laughs> curtain back a little bit, Chris messaged the group chat and went, has Seth been hacked? Oh, yeah. Because he was at some big weed store. <laughs> yeah, it was a cannabis, like, mm. festival. Yeah, so I messaged Seth <laughs> I like, and went, oh. have you been hacked? He's like, no. Why? The cannabis thing. I was like, yeah, I'm just checking it out. It's much more lucrative what? than theme park vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. The thing is, he posted the picture with no caption, yes. no wording. I'm like, this looks very <laughs> sus. Yeah, it was funny. <clears throat> crazy anyway crazy yeah. yes right tell us some little things yes. crazy so Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure has reopened after its 13 day refurb but sadly Express Pass access wasn't added like everybody hoped it would be and having been open for 10 minutes this morning as of recording the wait was 90 minutes that's as not too know. bad actually for that early 
I wonder if, uh, if, uh, what, it, what's the article that came out? I think it was inside the magic. Oh, do we have to talk? Oh, about that? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, I wonder if they'll put like an article out like new universal ride opens up. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll be all right. Along, along their lines. Yeah. Yeah. They're clickbaity stuff. Anyways, uh, over at the ET adventure, the attraction got new interplanetary passports last week. So be sure to check out the new fresh looking cards next time you go to the green planet. Uh, and for those of you who have a dairy allergy or are vegan or prefer non-dairy items, you can now enjoy cold or frozen butterbeer complete with vegan foam. As of last week, Universal Orlando and Hollywood introduced vegan non-dairy butterbeer topping at Three Broomsticks and Hogsmeade and at the Leaky Cauldron in Diagon Alley. These two options were previously available without the foam, but now you can get them with the foam. So it was interesting. Yeah, I think it was, what, about six months ago when they said you could start requesting it without the foam on? Yep, back in July. Um, I wonder uh, how that affects the, anything on the hot butter beer or no? No, no. The base is still hot, still has dairy in it. Unfortunately, mm. yeah. I hope that's a change that's coming. Yeah, it has to be. If they they're making this push, I wouldn't see why they wouldn't do the hot one because it's a favorite among many. It is, and I'm very jealous on a cold day <laughs> when I can't get one. Like I don't want to go to Starbucks and want a hot butter beer. <laughs> I thought it was uh, it was it was sort of uh, meant to be when we had you on replacing Michelle. By the way, Michelle's not here. She's on a cruise. No one's even mentioned the fact that she's not here at this point. Because we're just she's on a cruise right now. <laughs> one percenting. <sighs> <laughs> she's like, oh, I can't make the show. I'm on a cruise. Okay, just casual, you know. Yeah. Um, so we find out she's actually a pirate. That's how she can afford all these trips. We still miss you, Michelle. Don't worry. <laughs> but it was it was it was meant to be that you were here the week that we get this announcement. Oh yeah, shall we? So how how mm-hmm. is it? it? It's really good. Um, I I haven't had the regular butter beer in a long time because I've been vegan about eight years now. Um, but when I did have it, it wasn't memorable to me. To be really honest with you, um, but this topping is really good. It's very sweet and it's very thick. And I feel like when I see other people with it, the topping looks a little bit thin. I don't know if that's an accurate description or not, um, mm-hmm. but it's very, it's very sweet and it completes the butter beer. Without the topping, it felt incomplete, obviously. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, it definitely it makes it a lot better. I know you're you definitely said, missing out. You, you said you've been vegan for eight years, so I'm assuming you had a regular cold butter beer prior, right? Yes, prior. I, so, I couldn't tell you what year it was, but it was definitely well before that. My, it was my first time at Universal, whenever okay. that was. Would you say they taste similar? I don't really remember, hmm. honestly. Um, but I have talked to a couple of my friends who are not vegan. They've had the regular foam and they've had the vegan foam now, and they said they like the vegan one better. And they would yeah. get that going forward. Interesting. Yeah. I may pick one up this weekend. Let me know. I'll be in the park. Okay. Lee, what, what were we watching in the, was it yesterday? Dev. Dev. And which one did he say it was less sweet, the vegan topping? I have no idea. Because I immediately went, oh, I might try that then because I I just find butter beer far too sickly. Because it's disgusting. It... Pardon? It's disgusting. The regular butter beer is disgusting. But you liked all butter beer. No, I only like hot and frozen. I don't particularly... He's biased with the hot. Yeah. <laughs> Makes hot cardboard. Um, no, <laughs> but was it saying it makes it less sweet? I was thinking that one of them. I can't. I'm assuming it was regular. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Uh, I'm just wondering. I might try it again because I found it very sickly. So I was messaging back and forwards with a good friend of ours, Kelly Wood. Mm. Shelby, I mentioned a friend of ours who is incredibly dairy intolerant. Yes. Um, and she was. Her concern is. Them making sure that they put the right... Because I'm assuming the butterbee is the same. It's just the form that they put on the top that's different. That's correct, yes. So her concern was obviously that making sure that they put the right topping on when you specifically request it. I assume they've got different pumps for each of the forms. They do. They do have um, different machines for them, and they are actually marked. One of them has a... I'll send you the photo if you want it. Um, there's a comic leaf. It's huge, large... Um, leaf like the vegan leaf that you yes. see everywhere marked on everything mm. it's it's probably like six by six on it <laughs> on one of the machines it's gigantic <laughs> they can't miss um, that and then on the other one they have a smaller one so there's a leaf on the machines themselves i guess okay. they're not really machines but the dispenser yeah. and they also are supposed to be stickering the cup on the bottom with the little leaf 
I've oh. seen that. Yeah, I've seen the yeah, cups with a leaf really on the cute. bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get this at any location you get butter, butterbeer at or specific no, ones only? Just specific um, three broomsticks and leaky cauldron only. The outside cards don't have them. I was told by my friend Tyler, um, who's really involved with Protego Foundation, they, they have more contact with this than I do, um, that the reason why they are only in the restaurants is because they have to wash their hands, the team members, and they have to change their gloves. Uh, yes. So they're really treating it like a true allergy, no matter who's Good. ordering it, whether you're vegan or not. So your friends should be perfectly fine. Um, if you can totally watch them make it as well, like the machines awesome. aren't far from the registers, so you can watch them. I know she's super excited to actually get to try butterbeer properly for the first time. I I'm hope she likes her. it. <laughs> yeah, Kelly. I I think think it's it's <laughs> Kelly waited all this time. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't blame us. It's not our fault. Well, I'm going off that, and I, I, sh I really shouldn't have put these two items next to each other. But for those of you oh, that aren't vegan goodness. and find yourself craving some, <laughs> uh, some, some, <laughs> some meat. Wow. Um, ribs have recently returned to Thunder Falls <laughs> Terrace menu at Jurassic Park. There you go. <laughs> Captain Segway. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah. Speaking of Jurassic Park, apparently, um, Universe have just released Jurassic World themed boxed water. Uh, little eye roll there. Uh, they can be I'm actually excited about <laughs> this one. Go ahead. They can be purchased at the snack carts around Island's Adventure. Uh, the boxes are environmentally friendly and use 92% plant based packaging, which is 100% recyclable and refillable. And the water itself is 100% fi filtered with no added minerals. And apparently these boxes are six dollars compared to a five fifty bottle of water, so like fifty cents more expensive. Dude, the but boxes the water are cool. tastes so good. Does, does it? it? Have you, had, about, you, does you it? haven't been there. We, Chris doesn't know. No, <laughs> Universal didn't create boxed water. <laughs> no, that's true. This has right. been around for years. Okay, but it's like very expensive water. We went to uh, for our like anniversary. We went to the little resort down in the Keys. And that was the only water they have, and it was ridiculously priced. I think it was eight dollars there, and we had it and fell in love with it. Oh. Even tried to order it when we get home, but it was way too expensive to do that. So it must have been good if Chris is forsaking alcohol to drink boxed water. <laughs> is it yeah. like that? Should give you an idea. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> is it like Fiji water? Yeah, those ones in the uh, in all the hotel rooms that you do, don't touch that. <laughs> Because I am not paying for that. And, and we did bring some home from the airport, and it tastes vile. It wasn't as expensive. In I'm it. very fussy of my water. I know it's only water, but I'm very fussy. No, of no, taste. no. It's it's definitely different. There's, the boxes are super cool. I, I posted. Know, I would, um, Kyle got us pictures of them, and I but I've posted them on our on our Instagram. They are they are super cool. But boxes. The Stegosaurus was released. Yeah, and I think today. a Carnotaurus or something. It wasn't released today. It's just when I posted All right. it. <laughs> um, they are cool, but it's kind of like box water. Yeah, it's pricey. It's probably going to taste different. <laughs> I get warmer quicker. Will it get warmer quicker? Wandering around know, the parks probably. with a box That's of a good water. Question. You could also refill them. So, like, if people are looking for a more env environmentally friendly yeah. option, you oh, could refill yeah. them at the freestyles, yeah. too. So, That's if you good... wanted to do that throughout the day. That's a really good idea, actually. I, didn't... I haven't seen it for a few hours. Is it a twist? Yes. Cap. Like your... Oat like milk the oat stuff, milk. yes. Yeah. So it's not like the old school milk cartons where you had to <laughs> pull it out and <laughs> no. it got soggy. No, it's the, the reusable. It got soggy. Anything, yeah. look, <laughs> the, anything's the reusable. going into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody likes a soggy tip. <laughs> this little no one! No, no one said it's No, because I'm not even going. God. You're supposed to be on your best behavior with a guest on. How dare you? So That's what so she so said. Um, I love how little back. things is usually just rattled out and when we do it, it goes on for like an hour. We'll, we'll derail the train later on. We don't so know. Continuing, yeah. Go on. <laughs> continuing in Jurassic Park, anyone wanting to purchase one of the wooden Velocicoaster train models that are available around the resort will now have to spend $50 more as the price has increased from $150 to $200. They're so Sheesh. cool. I wanted to buy wow. one when we were over in December. They are so awesome, but I don't know whether I would fork out $200 for it. We'd have some serious words. Why? $200. They are cool, but I felt, yeah. I felt bad enough forking out $25 for those metal models and I then messing it up because they're not easy to put together. Yeah, it's a pretty significant bump. It is. I wonder what the reasoning behind that is. Inflation. Yeah. 
Wood, wood costs. I was going to say, trees are suddenly pricing themselves, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You can't put a price on a tree. They've got a Jurassic woodland around them. A lumber yard would uh, disagree with you, Lee. <laughs> they just steal it from uh, Epic Universe. I bet there's plenty down there. That's true. <laughs> wow. Anyway. Mm. Okay. If you would like to show, show off your house Quidditch position, you can now do so by purchasing new Harry Potter Quidditch, Quidditch patches. That's like a tongue twister, yes, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> the four patches represent the four Quidditch positions, Keeper, Beater, Chaser, and Seeker, and have the four house colors on each patch and can be purchased for $13 each. Oh, I'm those su- positions. I'm surprised. Yeah. They, what did you think, Christopher? <laughs> I thought it was like power forward, center. Uh, what did you think I was thinking? Like power bottom. <laughs> <laughs> what? The- <laughs> I thought that's where Chris was going. Wow. Well, it was, but continue. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised they haven't done... We talked about patches a long time ago yep. about doing universal ones, and we kind of got laughed at for discussing them at the time. Yes, we did. Um, and now they're doing them. I think they should do more of them. I think patches would be a, a great idea. I completely agree. I have a a jacket that my husband bought me and all I've been doing is sticking patches on it. I want universal patches. Because then it's rather than, I mean, obviously you can put like badges and buttons on them or pins. It's not the same as putting a permanent patch on. I think it'd be much better. I want some Horror Nights pins. I I lost Mm -hmm. an ET pin. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Because it was a pin. Yeah, Yeah, it doesn't matter how securely you attach those Mm -hmm. pins. They they come off all the time. The first pin I ever bought, the other park, I lost a bit to replace. Yeah, even the ones that was it. Barry got us those. He made those Horror Nights ones for oh, us when we yeah. came over in 2019, and I lost my Yeti one, my favorite yeah. house of the year, and lost it. <sighs> Yikes! And yeah. Um, right, moving on. There are walls up everywhere at Universal Studios Florida night right now. Chris, when you go this weekend, it is a mess. We were watching. Was it Dev? Must have been Prince Jam and Dev were watching. Yeah. I mean, Shelby, you're there a lot. You'll know the walls are mm-hmm. everywhere. They're everywhere. Right now. And the walls were up everywhere last time, it's so I can even, only imagine now. Even more so. They've got the entrance turnstiles going through some changes at the moment. They've got walls up there. It looks like they're going through those, like, turnstile-less turnstiles, like they've gone over into islands. Um, there's walls up around the Betty Boop store on the corner. Yeah. Um, and that looks like they're doing some significant work as we were watching Jackie Super Enthused oh, yeah. um, on the parade floor. and It was funny watching them vlog being on the parade floor, but like kind of getting over the walls into Minion Blast and stuff, but kind of making it not look like that's what they were filming. Um, but yeah, they're doing, looks like they're doing quite a bit there. The Betty Boop store as well has had its sign removed. So mm-hmm. that obviously, I mean, the rumors we're hearing, that's just going to be a, a generic universal store because we need another one of those right across the road from the <laughs> one we've already got. Well, you know, somebody might forget something in three steps. Uh, walls are still up around the Simpsons and again if you've seen aerial photos of that that's mm-hmm. getting some extensive work but the, the ride's still open as we know there's walls up around the Men in Black store that's getting all new paved um, and then obviously Kid Zone's going on it's just Universal Walls Florida at this point do you think <laughs> they've got some leftover stuff from Epic Universe so they had to use it if you're like at home here you're like when the council just goes around the BB we've got a bit of tarmac involved. left yeah, yeah let's go gonna... and fill some potholes in <laughs> do you think that's what they're doing it just, I mean, it's, it's, we were, we were discussing it yesterday. It seems a lot all at once, but if you're going to do it, I don't know when else in the year you no. would do it. We were discussing that last night, weren't we? Because you're mm-hmm. getting into, like, Mar- obviously it's Mardi Gras, and you don't want to be doing it then, mm-hmm. but then once you get out of Mardi Gras, you're hitting summer crowds, and you certainly don't want to be doing it through the busiest time. Then it's horror nights, you definitely don't want to be doing no. it then. Um, then holidays mm-hmm. yeah it's just there isn't a time of the year when it is good to do it now but I mean it's good it's good that they're doing these things like I've said all along while they've been doing these walls they need to the studios desperately needs bringing up a little bit I think it does it does kind of especially the entrance feels quite dated it, it doesn't have much of an identity I feel that mm-hmm. entrance plaza especially when you compare it to something like part of entry and then whatever epic universe is going to be um, Horror Nights is going to be interesting this year. I will say that much. Mm. Yes, it is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do we talk rumors? We don't normally talk rumors. Has anyone seen the rumors that we're apparently getting eleven houses this year? I wasn't going to put this in, but I want to talk about it. 
11 houses apparently and i was thinking because mini and blast will be open at that point and there were people saying that that second theater will still be used for a house i think we're going to get a house back in there so keep the 10 from last year and then put a, the 11th house in there where i mean we spoke for a few be. minutes about it i think it makes sense definitely need it for the crowds without yeah for sure it's crazy, yeah. isn't it? Because like the first year we went, what, there were seven houses? Yeah, Something getting like up that, to 10 yeah. seemed like a crazy idea. Yeah. yeah. Here we are. But they do need it, especially if The Last of Us is going to be there this year. Mm -hmm. God, yes. yes. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so you mentioned Mini and Blast anyway. Uh, so Mini and Blast and Mini and Cafe continue to move on. Express Pass and Standby Line signs have been added to the entrance. And even more metal... metal Yes, metal, steel's metal. More steel framework has been added to the old Monsters Cafe, uh, building that structure out even more. It looks like it's so, going to be huge, that yeah. Monsters Cafe. I Shelby, I mean, you're I at the parks all the time. You'll have seen how much they've added on. Yeah, it makes me sad, though, because I love Monsters. But yeah, it yeah. looks huge. <clears throat> so, and it's, I feel like it's updated every day. What yeah. they're doing. You can visibly see it outside. Yeah, because Monsters Cafe wasn't small either. No, no, definitely wasn't. No, 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 no. So it was all... compartmentalized, but mm -hmm. it was pretty big. Yeah, I suppose you think that like the that the entrance was kind of chopped off, wasn't it? So I think they've built that corner out where it wasn't, because you had like where the um the like electric chair thing was. Oh yeah, it was chopped yeah. off yeah. that corner, was it? So they yes. built that corner out, but then added on the other side. It's going to be quite big. I just mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of dead space in the front. Yeah, for oh, sure. I just, I hope it's, I think, I can't remember you guys when we were talking to Seth about, I just hope we get some themed food rather than the crap that's in the one in Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, especially since they have zero vegan options. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I think I think that'll be safe to say that they will have. I think, yeah, I agree. Yep. Uh, last week was team member appreciation week at Universal Orlando. And among the many benefits team members could have their very own donut at Voodoo Donuts. The uh, UOTM donut was a yeast donut with whipped velvet filling and topped with peanut butter and garnished with peanuts. Yes. Hope you haven't got peanut allergy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, many, I wonder if they did a survey beforehand, uh, like just got everyone to sign a form. Have you any peanut allergies? And like, as long as there's less than 5%, we'll do the peanut one. Yeah, probably. I still think it's like, again, I've said this before, I don't think Voodoo Donuts is all that, but I still love that they do things like oh, yeah. this. It's so cool. While we're talking about Voodoo Donuts, what's your options, Shelby, at Voodoo Donut? Do they have vegan oh, ones? We do. We have quite a few vegan options, actually. Um, I don't have my list pulled up, but um, I'll tell you my favorites, personally. <laughs> um, we have a vegan Portland cream that's really good. I have no idea if it tastes like the real thing. Um, we have a vegan maple bar. Um, I think we have an ODB. We have dirt. We, I think we have okay. like the majority of the regular ones as a vegan version. I think there's 12 or 13 total. That's not bad. Which actually. is good. I mean, yeah, yeah there's a wide I'm variety. Shocked. Yeah. I've never <laughs> even seen it advertised, but no. I guess I'm not looking for it. No, they, I mean, yeah, they don't advertise it. Um, there's a small section of the menu board that shows what the vegan options are. They don't always have all of them, though, is the thing. Like, they'll run out and maybe not make more during the day. So it kind of just depends on when you go, what you'll okay. get. Um, hmm. But they have a wide selection, which is great. Cool. Not yeah. for my waistline. Yeah, I was only expecting yeah. that it would be like two or <laughs> three, Nobody's. to be fair. <laughs> no, true. Uh, and finally, back over in Islands, Popeye and Bluto's Build Rat Barges is currently closed for its annual refurbishment and will reopen on March 10th. There you go. I can't, that was funny, we were talking yesterday, I, can't, I think the last time I did a water ride was like 2015. Oh wow. I need to put that right. Tracy's not a water person, so then I tend not to go on them because I don't want to go on my own. I like them. I, I do, I'll I, go I, with you, man. Right, let's, let's just dispel this myth. I love water rides. You just don't like getting wet I don't like, like being, the, wet uh, afterwards. being wet afterwards. It, I, it makes I feel me the same way, Tracy. beyond <laughs> miserable. Well, Very we did... Fair. Um, What's the one at SeaWorld? Oh, that was awful. Oh, that was seriously, it was great, but... 
Oh. It's like another bilge rat, right? I can't think what it's called. Infinity Falls. Yes. Infinity we did Falls, that yeah. in September with the kids and it was a blast on it and then it was great. getting off like because we had nowhere to get dry. I mean, it was, she was wringing her socks out. <laughs> and there were, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Well, whatever was in the water took the skin off Oh, it feet. did, yeah, because it was like rubbing. Yeah, that's not... No one it was just... That, yeah, it was, I kept yeah, sending that in. It, yeah, it was... I don't know the reaction. Like peeling the skin off. It yeah. was weird. Not painful, just like the best just, exfoliant you've ever seen in your life. It was crazy. It's called Florida water. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Swamp water. Yeah. yeah. That was, yeah, no. That's well, going to be open this weekend. Sweet. Because I love, I love Popeye. It's just, yeah, that yeah. trudging around soaking wet afterwards. I just can't, I can't do it. I love the rides. Yeah. I do love water rides. If we go when we go in September, see Chris isn't even caught on onto these comments yet. When oh, we go yeah. in September, oh, I said I, I heard it. I heard it twice, and I was going to say something, but you were talking. But yes, we will ride in September when you come down. Yes, yes we will. I think it's happening. Yeah, we. Oh, we? Yeah. Oh, we? yeah, I think we've it got, looks we've that way. To we. Tracy, you're going to ride it too. I don't know about that, but I'm coming. Tracy's a prep girl, so she will go on them as long as she has a towel and a change it's, of clothes yeah, to it, ride, get off, dry. If change, I can do it all done. in one go, we normally do it like a morning, don't we? Yeah. And then that's what, yeah, yeah. No, no go ahead. That's that, that's the same thing we do. But yeah, yeah. yeah. And then get dried off and changed, and that's and great. Then carry I'm on happy. the rest of the day. You bang yeah. them all out in one go as many times as you want until you're good and soaked and happy or miserable, whichever way it turns you, and then get dried and carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely hot enough for it. Yeah, yeah. There's that. Yeah. All right. And this is like last well, September, and it was pouring down every bloody day, and we got soaked anyway. And then yeah, it was also more of a reason to ride. I mean, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> cool. Uh, Tracy, yes. would you like to let us know about some Producers Club birthdays? I will indeed. I see a person here. I see a few persons I, see, here. I know who's getting Feliz Cumpleaños. Do you? I think so. I'd be disappointed and so will that person as well, I think. Oh, we've got a good... A, a good it's more than a handful, but not a waste. Um... <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> wow. <laughs> guest, guys, we have a guest. <laughs> it's so good. See what happens when no, I'm tired. Family. Exactly. Nice. You, you are you your go. family. Okay, you so are now. You've well and truly anyway, been indoctrinated yeah, in. You've anyway, asked for it now. <laughs> I don't have to behave myself because I interact with Shelby on Instagram. So it's fine. I'm always re- like responding to all the Yeah, stuff I'm the professional there, so. one on Instagram. You're not. No. Okay. So we are going to start. On March the 7th, with the fantastic Faith Davis birthday. Happy birthday, Faith! Happy birthday, Faith! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! It's kind of bad that her boss isn't here to wish her happy birthday. She works for Michelle. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, she is a <laughs> Pod Key Vacations rep. Oh, well, it'll be a bonus in your pay packet then. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's not, me. then message Michelle and tell her we demanded it. Send it by special fish. Fish? She's on a cruise. All right. Yeah. And then we are going to follow this up on March 11th with, where are we going to go with, the magnificent Hannah Newcomb's birthday. Happy birthday, Hannah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And then a couple of days later, on the 15th, which I know is more than a couple, but just leave me alone, uh, we have the phenomenal Chris Boggs birthday. Happy birthday, Chris. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chris, from another Chris. Happy birthday. Shelby's like, I have no idea who any of these people are. <laughs> <laughs> They're family, right? <laughs> yes, they Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I know yes, who they, they are. are. <laughs> I'm still going to tell Chris off for not coming, actually talking to us when he saw us in Toothsome in September. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Mommy, I'm like, what? <laughs> not you. <laughs> Chris Boggs, whose birthday is, yeah. he was in Toothsome the same time as us, and he messaged like afterwards and said, oh, I've just seen you and your family, but I didn't want to interrupt. We're like, just come over. And interrupt? We don't like our family. <laughs> we had the kids with us, we don't yeah. talk to them. So that was the day I broke my ankle? Yes, it's the day you broke your ankle. Is it Chris's fault? No, it was, I'm not going to blame Lauren there, I don't want to blame <laughs> Lauren. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> and then the 17th, it is the fantabulous Lisa McKee's birthday. Happy birthday, Lisa. Happy birthday, Lisa. Feliz cumpleaños, Lisa. There you go. See, I told you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lisa. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, we would have never had any conversations, you know? <laughs> now, I found one I've got to use. So I'm going to use it here. 
So on the 18th, we have, this is old school, this is, we have the Amaze Balls. Oh my God, I hate that. Brian nice. birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Brian. <laughs> Happy birthday, Brian. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so that would have been, I saw that the listeners are going to use that one. And following that, on the 19th, we have the tip top smashing bloke that is Simon Thomas. Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> yes. That's Happy, a birthday. Birthday. Happy yeah. birthday. Happy birthday, Simon. Simon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Happy birthday, Simon. You should have done Happy this birthday, one in Simon. Belgian. I can't speak Belgian. And then. Finally, last but not least, on the 20th, we have the lovely, the illustrious, and the really cool guy that is Andy DeMattelara's birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Andy. Andy. Happy birthday, Andy. Happy birthday, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope, I hope you all have fantastic birthdays with lots of fun and lots of cake. Yes. And send over a vegan slice as well yes. for Shelby. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on, we have a uh, bow pick a bow bow, and this one comes from Doug. Bow. Pick a bow bow bow. Bow. Pick a bow bow. Bow, bow, baby. Hey, you UOP. This is Doug. And Caroline. And we're at Universal City Walk today, and we just tried some Ben the Bow. So we wanted to call in with our ratings for Bow, Pick a Bow, Bow. Caroline, which ones did we have? We had the pork belly and the duck and the kimchi fried chicken and the crab cake. And we agreed on all four of the ratings. So, Caroline, what did what did we think about the uh, pork belly? We thought it was a four. It was pretty good. It was a little bit dry, not quite as like fatty as we thought it would be, but pretty good. Yeah, but the sauce was really good on that one. I think for the crab cake, we gave it a three. It didn't have enough sauce. The, the crab cake was good, but a little bit dry, I think. Would you agree? Yeah. And then uh, the duck. What would you think about the duck? That, that was probably my favorite. I also gave it a four because the duck was nice and, like, moist and flavorful, and it had a really good sauce on top. Yeah, I completely agree. And then we finished with the kimchi fried chicken. That seemed like the one that I was most excited about, but like many others have said, I think it didn't have quite enough flavor. It was kind of one note, right? So we gave that one a three. Yeah, that sums it up. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Two fours and two threes from us. Have a good one. Sorry, Shelby, I know that was all me. I was going to say, that wasn't vegan <laughs> then, was it? <laughs> they've only it's got okay. one option. It's not yeah. even vegan, is it? I think it's, it's just a veggie it's, one, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's not vegan. <laughs> See, but no options. Rubbish. Yeah, we were sad to lose Fusion, yeah. the, the sushi place that was there before, because we had a lot of vegan options. <laughs> That's a shame. Well, well Lee, yeah. would you uh, like to tell everybody how they can be part of this? Of course, I think we've still got a couple in the bag, but if you want to be part of a bow pick a bow bow, all you've got to do is go to Bend the Bow, just like Doug and Caroline did, and try all of them if you want, or just a few of them, and rate each one of them out of uh, five, one being blah, and five being... Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> um, record yourself rating them at the parks, if possible, because I... It makes us, we get to live vicariously through it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like Sonia, we can live a little, like last two weeks ago, Sonia's from <laughs> from Halloween Horror Nights last year. Yeah. That's how long, sometimes I wait to play them, but there it's, you go. It's not like you to hold on to things for so long. <sighs> anyway. <That's>, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. Yeah. <laughs> and send them to us at podcast at uuopodcast.com and we will play them on the show and add them to our rankings. And I think, I know Chris will be surprised at what's number one at the moment, but I'm not giving anything away right now. Oh. Tell me. No, it's not what Tell you think it is. It's not the goat, put it that way. Really? Yeah. Okay. And it's not even in the top two. That's upsetting. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick ad break and we'll be right back. Man, we need a vacation. Oh, I got this. Man. 
Whoa, that's awesome. But I was thinking something a little more adventurous. Okay, how about this? Yes! Oh, and how about some relaxation for a mama? Oh, perfect. How did you do that? Easy. Port Key Vacations. For your next vacation, let Port Key Vacations take away all the guesswork and stress of planning. From air and hotel to theme park tickets and everything else in between, they've got you covered. Just visit portkeyvacations.com and touch the port key to get started with your free, no obligation quote request. With just one touch, and Port Key Vacations will magically take you wherever you want to go. And we're back. We know many of our listeners are vegan or vegetarian, and it is still Mardi Gras. Uh, we thought we'd take advantage of having Shelby on the show and get her to go through her top five Mardi Gras food items for this year. Over to you, Shelby. Well, it's funny, actually, Shelby. Let me just jump oh, in. Shelby, your voice has gone deep. Because uh, we, we had a discussion about having Shelby on the show. I'm just going to ignore it. Um, <laughs> We're down with the call there, Shut love. your face. <laughs> And trying to figure out, because originally, Shelby, you suggested, didn't you, uh, like, because you were only coming on next, on the next show and doing yes. five Mardi Gras and five resort wide. I'm like, five resort wide isn't a lot. It's not. And that's when I was like, Michelle isn't here. Would you like to come on this show? Mm-hmm. We can do Mardi Gras this show and then that next show. So all you vegans want to pay attention to the next 25 minutes or so and next week's show. So sorry, Shelby. Anybody, not just vegans, well, anybody that's true, yeah. pay attention. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, I think it, but it's, to be fair, as someone who is a meat eater, you tend, you tend to not look at the vegan or vegetarian options because I don't know. You feel like they're not for you. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. Not because I don't want them. It's just that they're. It, it's like a. You're all cavemen. Therefore, <laughs> it's somebody else. Well, I'll it's the honest. same thing like with the donuts. I never knew there was that many donuts, but again, I don't look for that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. exactly. This will bring some awareness to people who normally wouldn't look at those menu items. This is great. Exactly. And it's like not even necessarily for our listeners. If they're going with people who are vegan yeah. as well. It's, it's The thing is, more people try, the more demand there is and the more we'll and get. That is an interesting option because we commented, um, obviously, they got rid of the veggie option at Central Park Crips. Got it. Which was something we kind of were quite disappointed at because they had that one option and it's now not even there. And we're assuming that is a demand thing. Are you talking about the vegan chicken crepe? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We were sad to lose that, actually. It's got to be a demand thing then. <laughs> well, we, I mean, there is a uh, a crepe in its place. It's the vegan berry, yeah. but it's a sweet crepe now instead of a savory one, yeah. which, it's coconut I mean, as well, isn't it? you know, there's a fine yes. balance because like sometimes we're like, oh, we don't have enough like sweet options in the park and now we have a vegan berry crepe, but we missed the old one. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a fine line, you know. Was the I old think- one the, the chicken yeah, chick- yeah. Chick- chicken. Um, I think chicken. they really chicken. struggled Central Park crepes, <laughs> don't they? Because it's, I don't think they ever expected it to have the demand that it has and then trying to keep everybody happy. I mean, yeah. we went to, Trissy went to get the um, the holiday crepe mm-hmm. when we were there and they like, oh, we haven't got any. You're like, what? It's only like one o'clock in the afternoon and you've ran out already. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's the, and, and not just that, I think the output that they give there is not, not very high. So, no. you know, you, you don't have that many people getting served. And no. then if if people who do want vegan items or vegetarian items come through and they and they skip it and there's a very small minority of people ordering, then yep. it makes it look even smaller. And they're like, well, we don't need to carry this. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And then looking at how, like the, the whole production from Central Park Crips, it smacks very much of when Green Eggs and Ham started doing tater tots when it was like, I think we, we went and when we went in must have been 2020 with Jade and we got all four of the options mm-hmm. and we must it must have took half an hour easily oh, from ordering to one getting at them. a time. And, yeah. and Ridiculous. Central but Park Crips is the same. They could do the digital menu board because it could be updated because you queue a long time, get to the front and what you want isn't available. True. If they had a digital, true. Yeah, that's a a digital point, menu actually. board, it could yeah. be updated with not available. I'll just take yeah. it off take when you've got it. Off when it's, when yeah, not there. to save people going. That's yeah. a good point, actually. And they want to give you that New York experience and get you <laughs> off right before you order your food. <laughs> well, they did because I, I ended up. Oh, getting, she was fuming at that yeah, point. I went to Louise and got pizza. Yeah, and which I very good actually. Wait, I got the brisket that's, one and then had to wait for her to get a pizza. But the queue in Louise was massive, long, so mine was cold by the time I got it. That's where we met Elisa. Elisa, it was. Anyway, lovely. Not long enough. Sorry, Shelby. Sorry. 
<laughs> no, normal. Don't apologize. I love this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys want to hear number one? Wait, oh, yeah. Chris, you haven't gone to Mardi Gras yet? Uh, no, I was supposed to be there, I think, two weeks ago, but uh, that fell through. We're going to be there this weekend. Okay, cool. Yeah, so if you're around, uh, say That's hi. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. That'll be cool. That would be really cool. Um, okay, my number one is the fried green tomato po' boy. Oh, I've heard good things. Yeah, there's a lot of hype around this item, apparently, like from, from not people in my group either. It's non-vegans are really liking this. And I didn't realize this initially, but this is the only po' boy this year. So okay. normally they have like a shrimp or really? some other kind of po' boy, but this is the only one. Yeah, there's nothing else on the menus. So is, there is, a, is there a sauce in this one? There is a sauce. It's a, a Cajun r- rumawad. Ooh. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> um, it's made out of veginase, oh, which okay. is delicious. And I, I, I don't know. It, I'm sure if any of my friends who follow me are listening, um, I'm a sauce person. So like, if you put a sauce on anything and it's yeah. a good sauce, I will eat it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, this. I, I don't really know what else to say about the po' boy. Like the, they always have like fresh veggies on it. Um, the fried green tomatoes are thinly sliced, but they put enough on there. So it feels substantial. I know a couple of people have like made a comment about like, there's too much bread, but in my book, there's not never too much bread. <laughs> this bread's <Great>. awesome. Yes. <laughs> so, um, exactly. Where, yeah. is, where is that yeah. Shelby then? Um, that's going to be in Gramercy Park. So the booth is actually facing the Christmas shop. Okay. Yes. It's in that little strip. Yeah. Um, it's next to, like, it's right around the corner from the Twisted Taters, I believe. Yeah. The Twisted Taters might be another one down. I can't remember where they put them exactly. I don't pay attention to the other booths if I don't go to no, them. No, no, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's in that main so. strip of where everything used to be, and now they've spread it all out. It's like a horror yeah. night. That's where the main food alley is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Down yep. there. So, yep. Cool. Exactly. Yeah, I've heard we've watched, like you say, we watch a lot of vloggers to keep up. And I know that yes. I think Tim Tracker tried it and he said it was really good. I think Jackie tried it. She said it was really good. So, yeah, we're hearing good things about it. That's awesome. I wonder how many people trying it know it's vegan. Because, you know, yeah. it doesn't say vegan fried green tomato po' boy. Uh, like some yeah. of our other, other options just say vegan in front of them. And A little leaf on there. Yeah, there's just a little leaf. So are people like noticing that? Because that could look easily like a vegetarian option. Yes. To yeah. someone who doesn't know what the double leaf is. So is it so, double leaf for vegan and then single leaf for vegetarian or the yeah. V for vegetarian? Um, is the, I, the vegetarian one might be a, it's a single leaf. Yes. Mm-hmm. Single oh, leaf right. for vegetarian, double for vegan. The more you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I had to think about that because I, <laughs> I don't really pay attention to the vegetarian yeah. options unless they're modifiable. So. Okay. Cool. All right. So number two is going to be the Berber Catan. That's the purple sticky rice at the Indonesia booth. Um, that's going to be across from the Fast and Furious exit. Go fam. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you don't like that attraction, Shelby. <laughs> no, I, I actually love that attraction. Really? No, it's Lee's favorite it's too. Not, You're going to get some, some comments about that. I used to, no, trust me, I, I was a, a big a proponent for it for a long time. And then I rode it again back in 2020 and realized how, no, last year, when I yeah. rode it with Raymond last year and realized how bad it actually yeah. is. <laughs> I, I mean, it's isn't it so bad it's good, though? Like, Fast and Furious movies are dumb, right? Oh, I love them. But I mean, I mean they're they dumb. Are dumb. Anyway. They are dumb. They are so dumb. But they're yes, so out you're of right. the realm of possibility. <laughs> <laughs> for everything that they do in them like i feel like the ride really portrays that i don't know you can't take a car into space <laughs> exactly <laughs> why not elon musk did didn't he they're tesla true, true. <laughs> <laughs> he drove his tesla to space Ooh, <laughs> we we dubbed it, it we dubbed it um ffs fast and furious syndrome because the first time i rode it we rode it during the weekend and we our group took over an entire bus so it was like we knew what we were riding it was our first time and it was just, we had an absolute blast riding it with all our friends and listeners. And so it was so cool. So I didn't really experience the attraction so much as the experience yeah. uh-huh. itself. <laughs> but yeah, it's awful. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I had to ask. Sticky Rice, That's you're a big fan that. of Sticky Rice, aren't you? That, that yes, experience sounds rice. amazing, by the way. Uh, it was. What did you say, Tracy? Oh, yeah. I love Sticky Rice. <laughs> you do? Okay, yes. good. I, I was going to preface this by saying some, if you don't like Sticky Rice, you may not like this. It's a little bit 
different than like traditional sticky rice that we any of us would be used to. Um, the color, first off, some people probably won't eat something that's this color purple. <laughs> um, and it's got a little bit of a different texture, but it's it's so good. I think I've eaten it, I don't know, close to 10 times now. And it's Mardi Gras been going on for like a month. So <laughs> going on that long already. Wow. It's really good. How much? How much is? The, well, we should have asked. I don't suppose you know how much the oh, two yeah, items are. Oh I should have put prices in my in my sheet. Um, don't worry about that it. one with my discounts, like I think under five dollars. That's not bad. So it's probably five something. Okay, not bad at all. No, most of these are not very expensive. Um, my number five is probably the most expensive item. Okay. Um, I just to throw a note in here. I did go to the park with my friends on Instagram. Universal Foodies. Um, they oh, came yes. to town. Yeah, I know that. that. You know them? Okay. Yes. Um, so Sierra and JT, um, they had me take them around to try my favorite options. And we only tried three of them because we were short on time. Mm-hmm. Um, but they they were like iffy about the Berber Catan. Really? <laughs> and they tried it and they loved sure. it. And their okay. point when we tried these options was like, you kind of get a lot more food for the vegan options. Um, some of the other items seem like they're very small you know, in comparison yeah. to price, but like for, for this one and even for the po' boy, you get a lot of food for what you're paying for. So that's something for other people to keep in mind too. I feel yeah. like that is the case a lot of times. That's good. Vegan options. Cause I know a lot of people complain, like the biggest complaints about the food and wine festival over at Epcot is that the prices are high and the portions are small. Mm. So yep. it's good to hear that it's not quite as bad. I mean, we have, yeah. we've only done Mardi Gras once, and the portions weren't bad from what I can remember. No, they weren't bad. That's good, then. <laughs> That's good to hear. You, I mean, you you don't want to pay a lot of money for, like, very little food. I so. mean, you kind of expect it from theme parks, really, don't you? You do, you do. Yeah, you, do. Like, you make allowances But for it's that. nice to hear that yeah. it's not always the case. Yeah. Yeah. I, w- I would say those two items are pretty filling on their own. Okay. Oh, I do want to mention this item is also gluten free because I have a lot of oh, gluten free and vegan yes. followers out there. And that one is also also gluten free, which is awesome. Is we don't have a lot of options in the resort that are vegan and gluten free in general, no. so it's nice, especially if it's event food, for them to offer that. Yeah, yeah, especially yeah, because that's we don't think about it like regular everyday items. It's probably easier to to to. Um, to have wider make, range of stuff, whereas yeah. this it's for a specific event. Yeah, yep. mm-hmm. we need to have you back on for horror nights. By the way, I think we need this oh, to be a regular, a regular yeah. thing yeah. to have you on for each event every year. This could be quite interesting, actually. That would be amazing. I would love that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready for number three? Yes. Yep. I only put this as an, at number three because it's a dessert, and I felt like one and two needed to be like meal type things but this one is so very close to my heart and it's the vegan churros oh Ooh. so backstory churros are like my favorite food they're amazing <laughs> they should be everybody's they're amazing. favorite food they're so good right yes. everybody loves a churro yeah <laughs> i've not had a churro since i went to disney and i i can't tell you what year way back before i was vegan that was the last like legitimate churro other than like a frozen one that i've had Ugh. so i've been asking universal Personally, myself, like every time I get like a survey or something or a like, yeah. special event yeah. thing, like vegan churros, vegan churros, vegan churros. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've said it. <laughs> it shows they a listen, lot. though. That's the good thing. Yeah. Like, we've yes. noticed from doing the podcast that they do listen. They and really do listen. Yeah, especially when it comes to things like this that are, are important for, for inclusivity and people mm-hmm. going to theme parks that they realize now that people coming from all walks of life with all sorts of allergies and mm-hmm. restrictions and all the rest of it it's you know it's not it's not a hundred percent there but uh, as you know yourself it's definitely that the, they are responding to people's needs much much more mm-hmm. yes yeah they definitely churros are, are staples of theme parks oh, yes. uh, without a doubt especially universal because exactly. what are you going to eat when you're over at the churro stand waiting to ride <laughs> exactly i was yeah. so sad when they you know they gave out free churros i'm like well i can't participate in that oh, yeah. that is, that is the yeah. biggest stab in the face ever isn't it stab in the face <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, do a, I do have a question on the churros so yes are regular churros i'm assuming non-vegan yes correct. and what makes it that way um egg? i think it's dairy and egg but i could be wrong on one of those because it's it would definitely be the one. On it. Yeah, yeah, milk yeah. It's at least one of those items is in it. 
Gotcha. Okay. But I, I mean, I feel like the, from what I remember Turo tasting, like these are exact and, and my friend Sierra and JT agreed. Yeah, I'd they be were like these are to, churros to compare, and that's how, that's that's what you want to know because it's start trying yeah. to get that you're getting the same thing, but to your needs, and that's yeah. that's good. It'd be interesting actually. We try them both. We struggle. I haven't had a corn a corn dog. Why have I got corn dogs in my head? At this point? <laughs> we need a good vegan because we couldn't dog. find the booth. Exactly, that's, that's what it is. But I can't even remember the last time I had a churro. To be fair, oh. Mm, I think I had one when we were with Gillian when you were out with Grace thinking about it. Oh, it's okay. I go off gallivant and you have a churro. I see. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to share. <laughs> I just I just go out spending lots of money, but he has a churro. <laughs> it's Tracy comes back, Lee's face just covered in sugar and breadcrumbs. And I had to watch Noah pick all the salt <laughs> off his pretzel because it was too salty for him. They, uh, right, I'm with him. Sometimes <laughs> those chunks of salt are massive. I did That's get a salt funny. burn in my tongue, so I'm with Noah. Anyway. I'm yeah. with you on that, too. And sometimes there's just way too much salt. And I'm a big salt fan. <laughs> so just a question off the back of that, then, Shelby. Uh, are these, yes. uh, obviously, this is the top five Mardi Gras items. Are these mm-hmm. vegan churros available normally, then? No, but I'm oh. hoping they will be. Surely. Is this the first year they've offered them, then? Yes, then, this is the first time. Surely yep. this is their tester, then, that they've got to after this. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping they sell well enough in well, order you know, for them to add. You know what you have to do? Buy all of them. Well, yes, when you go in, buy the <laughs> lot. <laughs> buy the mouse. I've been trying. Yeah. <laughs> Just take your week's wages and I'm go sh- and buy all the churros every time you go. <laughs> I'm sure they'll freeze. <laughs> I Just eat them. Don't freeze them. How many churros have you got? You 75. Eat yeah. <laughs> Just hand them out to people randomly around the park. Oh. That'd be nice. That's Pay a it good forward. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it sounds like your budget went up for September. I know. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I hope they have them for September. They should do. Yeah. Like I say, if they if they're going to offer them, like like Chris said, they are such a theme park staple. Yes, they are. That they they, I, they have to. I, I I totally agree. I really hope they will. And I mean, okay, so these are located at the Mexico booth, which is of right course. next to Cafe La Bamba. Okay. Wouldn't it be just so perfect if they added them to the menu at Cafe La Bamba? Yeah, yes. yeah, that would make. Perfect sense, actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't. So here's hoping. If they can offer them now, there's no reason why they couldn't offer them exactly year round. I'm hoping that will be the case. I I do wish it was like a long theme park churro because these are like little um they're oh, like, like a four inches long. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, that's but not good. You get like twelve of them. Okay. They're so easy I to mean, eat. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, Universal. I know Universal. Listen, get on it. We want you to. <laughs> appease Please. Shelby and, and get these churros out there all the time I yes. know I and mean so many ones. of them yeah full it's, it's bad I like stick them together <laughs> with jam no 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 that is good <laughs> no I mean it's good but it's bad yeah. for my body <laughs> too much sugar um yeah Interesting. So here's hoping because that's we'll a see, we'll see it makes sense that it would be part of like the Mexico pavilion, but to say mm-hmm. that a churro is a vegan item at Mardi Gras, and you go, well, how is that not a normal thing? Mm-hmm. Is weird. De- definitely agree. So here's hoping. I mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people are ordering them. I hope, or I don't know if people are walking over and being like, oh, vegan churros. I can get a churro at you know any stand yeah. around the park. I'm gonna ignore the vegan churros. I don't know. I know a lot of people are very curious. Which is good. I, I like people yeah. who are like, well, it says vegan. I'll try that anyway. Yeah. So hopefully it's not just people like me eating them. It's nice though, <laughs> because I've noticed the change just in the last year, maybe 18 months of people going, oh, vegan. Oh, that'll be awful to people now going, oh, vegan. I'll try that. It's been this I definitely agree with 180 you. with it. It's, it's really nice. It is. Um, back in the day, if I posted in a you know, pass holder group, anything about like vegan, you know, you get a hundred comments about, well, there's some grass in Central Park. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that group. You've got to love the annual pass yeah. holder group. It's amazing in there. It doesn't seem to happen too much anymore. Thankfully, you can you can say vegan and people are kind of like more OK with it. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think times have changed a yeah. bit. Yeah. But yeah. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> you, I'm sure you've seen those posts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> On anything. Let's be honest. Yeah, it's not even just true. vegan. Yeah, just mention mm-hmm. anything, and you'll get you know, anything. Yeah, torn up. Very For sure. True. Yes. Oh, um, just so you guys know, those churros do come with dipping sauces. 
Ooh. There is a chocolate sauce and a coconut nectar, which is delicious. Sweet. I'll go play. I already then. know Tracy. <laughs> I've never understood why churros come with a dipping sauce. Like a churro is perfectly fine on its own. Thank you. I mean, I agree with you. I'll take the dipping sauces because they have them, but like, I don't think I ever dip my churro no. back in the day when uh, I would eat them. Chocolate so. stuff's normally nasty anyway. Yeah. And so then you, you guys haven't had a churro with dulce de leche inside of it. See, yeah. that's oh, hello. Oh, I want to vegan one of those. Uh, <laughs> and we, Make and a vegan one, try it, and you will love it. I promise. And we still have a jar. Yeah, Chris, we haven't even opened that oh. jar you got us last year well, yet. Tracy, there you go. You can make them. <laughs> I can. I've made supper pita, and it's this. It's very similar. It's just extruded rather than. Oh, you weren't there. Isn't it funny how we end up just talking about food again? Like, we're not even talking about the Mardi Gras items now. We've just degenerated into talking about food. <laughs> we like food. We're fatties. Mm-hmm. Trying not to be, but yeah. <laughs> you guys are so funny. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we'll talk about food all day. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. We have to when you're here. Right? <laughs> exactly. It's theme parks. Food's a huge part of it. It is. It really is. I think we were, I mean, you know, people like me were missing out on that before and now we really get to, yes. get to participate. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I'll, I won't lie to you and tell you that I don't go to the theme park just to eat. Cause I really do now. Like I'll That's be like, though. Oh, I'll just, yeah. I'll go get some vegan churros or I'll go get, you know, get something at a regular restaurant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's funny. I, I talked about um, our friend Kelly, that when she was a, uh, when she was a kid, uh, her parents would only take her to Disney World because it's the only place they could find that really dealt with her allergy. Mm. And now oh, wow. like, she goes to Universal all the time because like, they're just so accommodating. Um, obviously not a vegan thing, but just from a dietary uh, like right. allergy point of view, they're so good mm. now with everything. I mean, they have to be. I know it's 2023. The world's not what it mm-hmm. was 20, 30 years ago. But... Well, I don't know. I, no, I don't have any major allergies. I have one, but it's not really probably going to be found in the parks. Um, but when I've had to, what I'm trying to think, what figs, that? figs oh, will yeah. kill me. Oh wow! Um, yeah, I found that out at work. She when, wish you'd never um, told me that. Oh, don't <laughs> worry, I'll get cats first. That won't um, kill me though. It just make oh, me slightly itchy. Twenty-five sat in your head, would. <laughs> duct taped around your head anyway anyway yeah i found out i was allergic to figs at work when i was a dental nurse but what i was saying was i don't have any major allergies for you know in the parks but when i have had to check ingredients things nothing's been a problem taking anything out you know and Mm -hmm. it's little things like bacon bacon it's it gives me migraines and just a small amount will give me a headache and a couple of rushes of bacon will give me a full on migraine. And we were in Big Fire. The first time I went to Big Fire. And I had I don't even remember that. I had a, a salad and it came with bacon in it. And I asked them to take it out because some salads are pre made out, they're just scooped out. And it came yeah. with bacon. And I, I was like, I can't have that because it'll make me ill. And yeah. it wasn't a problem. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. I told you when Kelly went that time before and she used that, the the like allergy email address the guy gave her his oh, cell yes. phone number That's and right. said if you have any issues when you're on property just give me a call yeah and like you can't you ask, can't ask for, for more, better no. service than that at all yeah that's amazing so they really are up in the game yeah oh yeah cool yeah i'm excited what's next i don't even know what number we're on anymore i think we've done three four yeah, yeah we must yeah, be on four <laughs> All right, number we four. We talked far too long. Doubles. Sorry, we, awesome. we talked far too long about a theme park <laughs> staple. The one thing we've talked more about is the one thing that, all right, it's not vegan, but you can get everywhere else around the park. <laughs> I mean, it deserves the hype. It's okay. It does. <laughs> That's very true. Sorry, Shelby. Sorry to interrupt. Please continue. No. <laughs> uh, the chickpea doubles are number four. Oh, yes. Um, so I don't know if you guys know what these are at all. I have seen. Um, I want... <laughs> they're really good so um this is at the trinidad and tobago uh it's a food trailer actually it's by the simpsons okay um basically i'll just read you guys the description because mm-hmm. chickpea doubles doesn't tell you a lot um they're curried chickpeas spicy barra i don't know if i'm saying that correctly <laughs> flatbread <laughs> micro cilantro and mango chutney so basically what it is it's almost like a little pancake 
Yeah. That's what the flatbread looks like. Yeah. And then the, the chickpea double mixture goes on top. And I actually was talking to someone who was from, I believe, Tobago in the line one time. And they were like, the reason it's called chickpea double is supposed to be able to like fold, like double it over kind of ah, like taco, taco like. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I can really say about this dish. Um, we had it in 2020, I think, and it was just all right. Like, mm. I think they've improved upon the recipe a lot since then. Um, it's a little bit, like, spicy. Mm. It's really savory. I don't mango- know. I, I feel like you guys should try it. I am <laughs> just looking at a picture the, of it now, and it mango looks chutney really good. Would, from what I've read about it, the mango chutney would really go well with the spices used. Mm-hmm. And you can keep your soapy micro cilantro. Because, like, that chickpea dal you used to do was really good, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It oh, looks really I lo- good. I love chickpeas. Anything curried, you know, I'm all about. Mm-hmm. It looks really good. I'll be honest. I need Universal to do a cookbook. We've that would be one. amazing. We've but, got an unofficial but, one yeah, sat yeah. down there. <laughs> but what, what with a good these, plug-in. and they could have by um, by holiday, and then general round the park. They did, didn't they? Over during COVID, they released some of the menus of some stuff on the on the website. They yeah, yeah. Like the, the the big apple cheese cheese sandwich from that's uh, a cheese sandwich. They're not difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, work, I'd work that one out. Long time ago. Slices of bread and cheese. I mean, and a bit really, of apple. it's like yeah, some bread, some three slices of cheese, and and uh, some red apple. And like yeah, that was. I could have probably could have figured that. I've eaten enough of them <laughs> that I probably could have figured that out myself. Actually, just just putting that out there, Universal pear goes really well with with cheese. But anyway, back to the yeah. chickpea double. <laughs> it looks really good. It does look really good, actually. It's really good. Um, mm. This one, actually, I mean, I guess all of the dishes so far, again, more value for your money. This is, I mean, the, the portion's pretty big. I will say sometimes you can't fold it over because they've given you so much topping, and they've made the like flatbread a little bit bigger. But like, I'm not, I'm not going to complain that they're giving me more food. You know, nope. like <laughs> if it's not exactly traditional served traditionally it's fine because i'd rather have a little bit more food exactly yep so. yeah it looks good I, that, i'd actually that's that's one that i was like oh, yeah, i'd actually yeah. really try that i'd try that quite happily yeah it looks really good that was one of yeah. my top three ones to try i remember i mean all of it it's just <sighs> the universal really, really they up. know what they're yeah. doing as well though don't they they've yeah. got like we've we've said for a long time it used to be just that little alley across from the mummy and all the food booths were down there. It was the same with Horror yeah. Nights. And then all, since COVID, it's now spread out <laughs> around the park. And it's like... But didn't we say they should do that years ago? We said uh, yeah, spread, spread it out around. around. And it makes yeah. so much more sense. Um, but it's like, they, it's funny. After we talked about it on the show a couple of weeks ago, they actually put out their own sort of tick list, didn't they, of all the yeah. menu items. I wonder if anybody's gone through and eaten everything yet. I dread to think how much it would cost. Yeah, that sounds like We've expensive. got Tyson Landers this year. <laughs> uh, just the like, like, give food it a go. beverage cards. <laughs> so you get the annual pass holder oh, one. Right. It's like a $150 card right, for yeah. $120, wasn't it? Oh, I could use one of them in a day. Yeah, it's easy to use. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, comfortably. Yeah. You didn't allow me to last time. I mean, there's still some money on the one sat upstairs, I, know. I think. There wouldn't have been, but you stopped me We should have took it with us last year, but we didn't for some reason. Just send me a photo of that barcode. Thanks. Yeah, and you send me twenty dollars, and we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> there might not even be twenty dollars left no. on it, but that's what I want for it. <laughs> oh, okay. You take the risk. It's like potluck. You, you give me twenty dollars. There might be more than that on it. There might be less than it. That's that's your risk. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, hang on. The forms again. Oh yeah, it's Mardi Gras. It's about to end. It's not. No, because you. Shut up. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Shelby. Please continue. <laughs> no. It's my bloody show. I can do what I want. Uh, okay. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> that the hundred fifty dollar card is worth it though, because they yeah, really yeah. give you thirty dollars for it. Yeah. So oh, that's yeah. pretty sweet. Which is looking at the prices that you've already said as stuff. It's like five or six items for free. Yeah. It's yeah. not bad. Exactly. Yeah. It's a really sweet deal. Or savory. Yes. Sorry about that joke. Terrible dad joke. I like that joke. <laughs> Okay, the do you guys want to hear number five? Yes, yes please. I'm intrigued yeah. by this one because you said this is the most expensive, so. 
Yeah, this one is the most expensive. Um, so it's the Vegan Alcopurias. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I, pr I practiced it like six times. Um, <laughs> Look, we butcher things every week on it, so I wouldn't worry. You're in I good company if you got it wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's from the Puerto Rico booth. Um, this is actually right across from where the tribute store used to be. So in New York, near Jimmy Fallon, okay. um, where the Diamond Bellows perform, all of that stuff. Um, it's kind of a new location. They haven't really put a booth there before, um, which is interesting. And this item is actually $9.99. It's the same price as the non-vegan Alcapurias. Um, the only difference with these is... Um, they don't have a filling. So I've heard a couple people make a comment like, oh, these don't have a filling. I'm like, well, you have to be able to tell them apart because they look the same. Okay. They're both like, you know, like kind of flat. If you guys Google it there or look on my Instagram, um, they're flat and brown and fried. So I really, I, I commend Universal for making them look different because I would hate for that to get mixed up. Yeah. It would mm -hmm. be not yes. a good thing. Oh, yeah. um, I'm just looking at them. They look really good. They're really good. So like I said, no stuffing on those. I actually went, there is a vegan Puerto Rican restaurant in Orlando and I went to them the other day to actually compare the vegan Alcapurias because they stuff theirs and I prefer the universal ones. Okay. To be really honest with you. Interesting. Um, yeah, they're really good. Um, they come with a mayo ketchup, which I know it says mayo and people are going to be like mayo, but it's, they're all... Most of the sauces around the park, I believe, even on the non-vegan options, are made with veginase now. Okay. That's interesting I, I, to know, actually. At yeah. least, yeah. like, I'm going to assume that the non-vegan alcaparias come with the same mayo ketchup that's also made with veginase so that they don't mix them up. I'm speculating here, but <laughs> like, if I was universal, that's how I would do it so yeah. they don't get mixed up because um, they don't come marked or anything. So okay. I think this is all just the same. Um, and th that item is actually also gluten free, which Which is good. Again, yep. So, Kelly's gonna love this episode, isn't she? Just I would, <laughs> yeah. I would try everything that's being mentioned tonight. To be fair, oh I'm yeah, I'm so glad. Um, just so you guys know, it w both lists I've made are have been really hard to make because Universal uh -huh. does have so many good vegan options. That's like, good. I don't want to be like these are like we have ten vegan options at Mardi Gras. They're all good. Don't, don't let me sway you from trying any of them because they're all good. It's just like, it was really hard to narrow this down into five. <laughs> yeah, that's good though. That shows you that it's not so, just, they're not, it's not just a, like, a, oh, we have to do some vegan stuff. It Just do them. That they've actually yes. put some thought, some effort into them and they're all really good. That, that shows Absolutely. their commitment to it. That's great. Yes, they, mm -hmm. they are very committed to it. And it's, it's just an amazing thing to see and be a part of and, eat the food yeah <laughs> well, that's why i invited you on shelby i mean we talked about oh, it ages you. ago when i invited you on that it is awesome. a huge thing and we've always it tried is. to um push like the vegetarian option never really push vegan because none no. of us are but the vegetarian option we've 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 pushed on the mm -hmm. show quite a lot and then to to make that next step and like I say get someone on who obviously knows about it a lot more than we do mm -hmm um was was something i wanted to do like say way back i can't even remember when it was i first messaged you but i know it was yeah, like a while <laughs> i don't know whether that's something i'm really comfortable doing right now but i know, like, oh, no, I, wish I'll, I'll, done it sooner. I will yeah, uh, i will I will, <laughs> I will i will wear you down and eventually get you on <laughs> yeah oh yeah <laughs> that's just a given i see what they are they're yeah. the alpacas alpacas yeah <laughs> they look really good <laughs> they do it looks like a like a deep fried donut I don't know that that's what it is, but it's what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, kind of, yeah, but they're they're just savory. They're here. This, this is the description. It's crispy. Bleh, sorry, crispy green banana and okay, I can't pronounce that. Yau yau to y a u t i a. I don't know how you pronounce. Yeah, you that. can't Pasta eat bananas. Serve with mayo ketchup. So you just get the meat one, Tracy. They do the meat one. Yeah. Yeah. Great. You can get that one. Yeah, kind of bananas. Oh no. <laughs> green green banana is a little different though. Yeah. yeah, it's just unripe. Yes, they look really good. Like I say, it all yeah. looks really good. This is my issue. I'm glad we're not coming to Mardi Gras this year because I wouldn't know what to try. <laughs> yeah. Saying that, I would still try the, the green banana one because I'm not deathly allergic to bananas. I just lose all the skin in my mouth. Bananas. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh yeah, turns out I've been allergic to them all my life. I just thought that's how everybody reacted to bananas. No. Oh, no. That's, that's, that's what's in the water, Tracy. They yeah. put green bananas. Bananas. Yeah. <laughs> 
bananas. <laughs> they put green bananas in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you know how many comments I got off the last episode when we were talking about turtle, turtle, turtle. There's and a lot you of turtles are... in water. Turtle they eat bananas. <laughs> Did you even hear the the race that I when you were editing? Oh, I put in probably not the little turtle tortoise jumping race, the turtle hurdle. Anyway, <laughs> it's still funny. A week later, off so much of a tangent here at this point. <laughs> What purpose do we serve as a universal podcast at this point? Because I'm not really idiots. seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> we make people feel better about themselves. <sighs> that's, that's very true. <laughs> it's a public service. <laughs> it's it makes me feel worse about myself. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, Shelby. As, uh, yeah. I, like I say, I hope what, like a lot of our listeners... Who are who are vegan or vegetarian, mm. or even not? Just go and try them as something yeah. different. Don't like I said, I'd be the first person to do it. You automatically rule them out because you feel like it's well, it's early not ve- made for me. Yeah, and also early vegan options. There's still that stigma, that leftover. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, that's horrible. Because yep. it was always You're like totally right. textures were always wrong and flavor profiles mm-hmm. weren't right, and people it's still really- think that way. Yeah, it's come a long way. Yeah. 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 I mean, sure. one, even going back to like the old days where I feel like we would have to pull items to try to find to mm-hmm. fill into the uh, the veggie section that, yeah. that Tracy used to do. Yeah, that was a long and time. And now it's like a single event has 10 items. Yeah. yeah. Which is it's true. very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm intrigued now to see where that next step is for Horror Nights this year because mm-hmm. I have no mm-hmm. idea off the top of my I head thinking either. about last year what what vegan items would have been available last year apart from the um the sambusa coffin wasn't that wasn't yes. that vegan yes that was vegan yeah. that and was the very actually, good was the pumpkin bun little boost pumpkin bun as well no was that, it wasn't unfortunately that any was really of those good. like buns that is a different texture no mm. unfortunately that was good that's a shame because that was nice it was really good the coffin was the yeah. MVP. We well, get that now, because Shelby, you keep posting, don't you? Can't is it over <laughs> by Kong? You can get it from the yes, the stand over by uh, Kong, can't you? Yeah. Yep, you can get it there. Actually, you can get it in Universal as well. Um, the San Francisco Beer Company, right across from okay. Lombard's and uh, San Francisco Pastry Company, it's at that stand as well. But then there you go. That proves what we've talked about on this episode. That if people mm-hmm. buy it and like stuff that it yep. will remain in the park. That's something like that, that we didn't actually hear too many people talking about, but obviously enough people no. bought it and liked it that it's now available, assumably, year-round. I swear I made ungodly noises eating that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's, it's so, so savory good. and spicy. Yeah. yeah. But it, like, doesn't, it doesn't burn your mouth to no. where like, if five minutes later you're like, oh, I ate something spicy. No. Like it, it's, you know, it's while you're eating it, yeah. which it's, is great. Yeah, well-balanced. And there you go. It's the top five vegan items at Mardi Gras and th- uh, some other stuff we talked about that had nothing to do with it. <laughs> some derailments, it's fine. <laughs> Always. I think that, that, that it's a larger topic of conversation, isn't it? Yes, we're talking about vegan items at Mardi Gras, but just food at Universal in general and, and all the rest of it, it's a much larger conversation. Yes. Um, I'm sure when, Shelby, when we have you back on next week, we will derail onto other things much, much more at that point, to be fair. I Aim to. <laughs> you see, Tracy's woke up now. Oh, food. No, I would say I'm awake. I think I'm in another dimension, but... Anyway. Yeah. Well, uh, I think that's going to wrap up the show. Uh, Shelby, I can thank you very much uh, for coming on and yeah, talking. Awesome. Again, looking forward to talking to you next week as well. Thank you for um, having me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, could you uh, please let everyone know where they could find you? Oh, yes. Um, so I am on Instagram, most active at Universal Orlando Vegans. Uh, we do have a website. Everything is on there that we have confirmed with Universal. That's universalorlandovegans.com. Um, let's see, uh, our Facebook group, we're very active on there. It's a, very much a community. It's also Universal Orlando Vegans. Um, there's a page on Facebook as well, but the group is what you want to join if you want to interact with us. Um, that's, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Awesome. That's where you can find us. And if that's a lot of places to try and find her, you can also go to her link tree at Universal Orlando Vegans. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Look at Chris doing the, uh, the proper journalism there. 
I know, right? <laughs> yeah, one, <laughs> once a year, man. That's it. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for spending it on me. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the end of the podcast. And that means it's time for a universal is. And this one comes from Justin Vestal. Uh, we'd like you to get involved. So just let us know what you think uh, Universal is in three words or less and send them to podcast at uuopodcast.com. But for this episode, Justin says Universal is Harry Potter Paradise. Talk to you guys next time. That was another episode of the unofficial Universal Orlando podcast, the best and only podcast about Universal Orlando on the island. Check us out on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Pinterest. Just search UUO Podcast. For all the podcasts, news, and articles, check out our blog at UUOPodcast.com. Contact us at podcast at UUOPodcast.com. Join the Producers Club by emailing us at UUOPproducers at gmail.com. Listen and subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Check out our friends, the Theme Park Duo, for all your other theme park news, and email Michelle at portkeyvacations.net to book your next trip. So until next time, this is Amity 6. Call off the Marines. We're coming home. Mm-hmm. And you can keep your soapy micro cilantro. Because like that chickpea dal you used to do was really good, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It oh, looks I really lo- good. I love chickpeas. I mean, if I'm going to be critical, it does look like something that dog... <sighs> <laughs> Good for juice. <laughs> <laughs> I've cleaned a few of them up from the carpet before, but um, it it does like. Uh.